hello guys in this video I'm gonna go over how to find a limit of a function from the graph of a function okay so we're gonna give plenty of examples over here so this is the first one then we're gonna find the limit of this graph this one this one this one and this one okay so there are plenty of example to work on let's start with the first one all right so let's say we got a function f of x and limit x approaches to 2 from the left hand side okay so we're gonna look at this graph over here so as x is approaching to 2 from left hand side like this is one this is two so we are going along this direction one two and we are reaching here the value of function is negative four so limit of function when we are approaching negative two or sorry two from the left we got negative four and now we're gonna do from the right hand side okay so limit so we already wrote it there limit of f of x x approaching to 2 from the right so moving along this graph so we are approaching this 2 and it land over here on this hole and that will be negative 3 okay so now if if the limit from left is not equal to limit from the right then the limit of a function f of x x approaches to 2 from either side does not exist okay but you can find the value of a function at that point let's say 2 the functions value at 2 is this solid dot the closed circle which is equal to negative 4 that's how you can find the limit of a function from the graph now let's say if these numbers are equal then whatever that number is that is the limit of that function at that particular value and you will see in next few examples what I'm talking okay let's work on this one so limit of f of x and we are saying so this point is here at 4 so let's say x approaching 4 from left okay so 1 2 3 4 takes me to this point point over here which is 1 2 3 4 and 5 is equal to positive 5 now limit of f of x and we are approaching to 4 from the right hand side from this direction so now again we are at the same point okay 4 and this is the hole over here and this is uh, the function over there when we are approaching to 4 from right hand side so which is again 5 so as these two numbers matches so that number is the limit of that function so that means the limit of the function when x approaches 4 from either side either left or right is equal to 5 and the value of function at 4 there is a hole there is no value of y when x is equal to 4 so that means the value of the function at x is equal to 4 does not exist we can't find it okay let's do next example so in this example so see we got a closed circle the solid circle over here so let's find a limit of function and we can say x approaches uh, 3 from right so 1 2 3 so this is the point so we are approaching here uh, from the left so that gives me this point over here which is basically negative 2 and now let's do limit of function x approaches to 3 from the right and again we got the same point negative 2 so as those two number matches so we got the limit of a function as x approaches to 3 from either side is equal to negative 2 and the value of the function at 3 is this point so again this is a closed circle so that means this point is included 
this point is included in the solution set of this function so that means this point is the value of function at x is equal to 3 which is equal to negative 2 okay so let's do one more so in this example so we are approaching you see the vertical asymptote over here so the function f of x and the limit so 1 2 3 4 at 4 so x approaches to negative sorry 4 from the right and that will be from this function and we're going to keep going in this direction downward towards see it's, it's like a asymptote along the y-axis let's keep going down towards a negative infinity okay so the limit of a function as x approaches to uh, 4 from the left is equal to negative infinity let's keep going it's non stopping point it's going to go towards negative infinity and now let's say limit of a function as x approaches to 4 from the right and then we are going in this direction so let's keep going towards positive and infinity so as these points did not match with each other so limit of a function as x approaches to 4 from left or from right does not exist and then how about the value of function at that point so at 4 we can't find any value of y over here so does not exist either all right let's do a few more examples so we got this function over here so you see there is a closed circle and there is a hole over here open circle so closed circle means this point included the hole means this point is not included okay so limit of function and we are approaching i think two over there so x approaching 2 from the left so 2 from the left we are going this way so 1 2 3 so 3 we got value function is 3 or the y value is 3 right and the limit of function as x approaches to 2 from right hand side so we are going this way from right towards the point 2 and we are at this point which is basically equal to this value of the function which is equal to 4 so you see those two value does not match so that means limit of a function x as x approaches to 2 from left hand side or right hand side does not exist and the value of a function at 2 and that will be this solid dot because this point is not included so this is the point that gives me this value over here which is 1 2 and 3 okay and let's do one more so we got uh, again a hole and a closed circle so limit of a function as uh, x approaches to now see we are on the negative side of x so negative one from the left hand side be careful about these signs so we are approaching negative one from the left so we are following this graph over here so that means this point negative one one two three and four so is equal to negative four and the limit of a function as x approaches to negative 1 from the right hand side so we are approaching this negative 1 from right hand side and this is the point here so 1 2 and 3 which is equal to 3 but again these two points are not equal to each other so the limit of a function f of x as x approaches to negative 1 from either left hand side or right hand side does not exist okay and the value of the function at a negative one is this close point over here which is one two three and four negative four over here let's do one more and 
in this one again the points are on the uh, left hand side of zero so x value is going to be negative negative 2 over here so limit of f of x as x approaches to negative 2 from the left is equal to so we are approaching this negative 2 over here from the left then the value of function is 1 over here oh, sorry 2 and limit of a function as x approaches to negative 2 from the right hand side so we are going from the right towards negative 2 and that's the point again so we got 2 again now the value of the limit from the left and the value of the limit from the right both are same that means the limit of the function exists so limit of a function as x approaches to negative 2 from either side is equal to 2 and if we want to find the value of the function at a negative 2 and you see there is a hole so that's not a solution there is no point but there is one solid dot or closed circle over here that means this is the solution point as x is a negative 2 the value of the function is this one so 1 2 3 and 4 it's going to be positive 4 okay let's do one more and i believe that'll be last one i think if you practice a couple more examples like these you guys will be good to go to find uh, the limit of the function from the graph so in this one we got a solid dot here at the closed circle here the so limit of a function as x approaches to negative 3 from the left so we are going to this point from the left and it's going to be 1 2 and 3 so negative 3 the value is equal to negative 3 and the limit of a function as x approaches to negative 3 from the right so that means we are going from this side so we are going from this side to negative 2 and again which gives me negative 3 and those two numbers matches that means limit of the function as x approaches to negative 3 from either left hand side or right hand side doesn't matter it's going to be negative 3 and the value of the function at negative 3 is also so x is uh, x is negative 3 and there is a closed circle 1 2 and 3 so y is going to be negative 3 oh, I didn't even notice there's a lot of 3's here but that's how you can find the value of a limit of a function from the graph of the function all right guys thanks for watching the video please share and subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah have a good day see you later bye bye